Zone 3 is normally reserved for a crawl. You could actually change any one of these other zones to be a crawl zone, but the default would be Zone 3. So how do I create a crawl? If I come up to my Home tab, there is another tab for Crawl. And this opens up the Crawl Editor. I just type out what I want. And I could go through, I could change font, I could change the size of the font, I could change the color, I could add an edge to, uh, to my crawl. Also, I can utilize text variables if I wanted to maybe have the time in that crawl. I could also put in the date and put in weather information. These variables when we send this to the player, they will automatically fill in on the player. So if I want, I can just save this. I'm going to save this in my media folder, and I'm going to just call it Welcome Crawl. Also, we have the ability, if we wanted to, instead of typing out a message, or in addition to typing out a message, I can also create a weather crawl or an RSS, or possibly a stocks. To create a weather crawl, all I have to do is come in, enter my zip code, and this weather crawl is automatically created for me. It's a three or four day forecast. And that will automatically update day in and day out. So I'm going to save that. And again, I'm going to save it into my media folder. So we're just going to call it Lenexa Weather. If I wanted to create a stock, there are stock symbols already set up for you. Or if you want, you could type in your own stock symbol. And there is the stock. So again, I could go in, change color, change font, things like that. Let's save this. We're just going to call it stocks. So we've created a weather, we've created the stock. What about an RSS feed? In this case, it's asking me for the RSS. I'm going to utilize CNN in this case. If I just go to the main page of CNN, scroll to the very bottom, they have a tab for RSS. Here are the different feeds that they have available. I'm going to use Top Stories. All I have to do is copy that feed. I'm going to paste that back in. These check marks, the first one, RSS title in the crawl, that is basically the headline. Description is the news story. So if I wanted to have just headlines, I would only select the headlines. If I also want to have the actual story, I'll check both of those. The separator between the headline and the story, maybe I'll make that a dash. Between the story and the next headline, maybe we'll come in and make it a dot, dot, dot. And we say OK. And here is today's news. And again, this would be automatically updated probably four or five times a day, every day. Once I've created this, that's all I have to do. And I'm going to save that. And we're going to use CNN Top Stories to overwrite the previous example. So we created a, a crawl call. And what I can actually do in my browser, I'm utilizing the, the media folder, I could say, show me just the crawls. So we had one for CNN Top Stories. 
I can just add that into zone three, and there's the CNN stories. I could come down and grab my stocks. We had one called Welcome. And I can still go up and grab the weather. So I can just stack all of these crawls, and they will just run one right after the other, and then repeat again. Even though we've given it a dwell time of 10 seconds, it will actually finish the entire crawl before it starts on to the next one. By utilizing the, the default, I don't need to worry about how long, how many news stories it will automatically play the entire crawl before it moves on to the next one. One thing you want to do when you're finished looking for your crawls is to change the view back to all. What if I want to create a page that has text on the page? Go back to my home and I can select the text tab. It opens up my text editor. At this point, I could load an image. And here's the page that I want to add text to. To do so, select the text box. I can position this box. Change the size of it. Okay, while I'm in the editor, I can go through, change the font again, change the color, or change the size, change the color of the text. Now here's a hint, if I were to use white text against this white text box, obviously I can't see it. But I can come in and change the back color of the text box. If I go to a gray, I can now see my white text. Change it, click away and see how it looks. Maybe I want to move it down a little bit further. Stop there. And I like that. I can still come back in. I could add an edge to my text. Put a shadow on there. Change the color. So now I've got a red edge. I can do it, even do a gradient. Right now I've got uh, black on top, white on the bottom. I could change those colors. And there we go. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to save this. And again, I'm just going to go and stick it right back in that media folder. And we're going to call it green text. Close my text editor. Now we're going to go find my page for green text. So there it is with the, the text on. I can add it into any zone. You notice I dropped it into zone 4. We have the wallpaper followed by the green text. And again, if I want to change that, I can maybe change that to 45 seconds before going back to this one. Okay. 